How's it going? I'm Visionary, this is Visionary Dex, and today we're gonna to take a look at day four of card reveals for the Glory in Navori expansion. Let's take a look. Starting off with a two mana, three one from Noxus, which means this is probably gonna be a Samira card. So whatever this card does is probably gonna be related to Samira's entire archetype. Daring Demolisher, deal one to the enemy Nexus or activate an ally's plunder effect. Wow, that is incredibly strong. That's actually crazy. So because it says activate an ally's plunder effect, I believe, I mean, obviously that means it activates it. So you don't even need to hit plunder. <laughs> like if you have, I don't know, a nab follower, you just play this, target that nab follower. And even if you haven't activated plunder at all that turn, it'll still activate it for free. This is, this is able to activate plunder without actually activating plunder. But at the same time, it can also just deal one to the enemy nexus if you have no plunder cards on board at the moment. There aren't too many plunder effects in the game. There's the one drop that gets plus one, plus one. That's probably not the, the worst target for this because then it would be like a four, four on turn two, which is kind of good. But try to think of like the highest tier possible plunder effect you could cheat out with this. I guess there is that seven drop that discounts the cost of all the followers in your deck. That one's kind of cool. You could play that, discount everything by two, and then just play this the next turn and discount everything by two again. Also, there is that six mana plunder card, which heals your nexus and all of your allies for three and rallies. That's a pretty solid value card to use with this, especially if you draw like two of these guys, you could have triple rally and heal yourself for nine. Riptide Rex is a plunder card. So that's kind of insane. Um, you drop Riptide Rex, he just wipes the enemy board, and then you play this card the next turn, or maybe even the same turn, and he does it again for two mana. I feel like this is gonna be kind of broken. This maybe should be a three drop, and even then it would still be very powerful. I don't know, dude, this is this might be like the strongest card out of all the cards they've revealed this entire expansion so far. This is absolutely off the charts as far as power level goes. Kinda crazy, dude, kinda crazy. All right, moving on to the next card. We've got another elusive here. This is uh starting to get a little bit uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. The amount of elusives we're seeing this expansion. Why? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Riot, come on. Listen, elusives are great. Elusives are fun in moderation. We don't need the entire game to be elusive. If the entire game was elusive, elusive wouldn't even matter. Maybe that's the point. Maybe they're nerfing elusive by adding so many elusives that every deck will have elusives and then elusives just don't even matter anymore. That's kind of big brain, actually. That might be what's going on here. But this is a uh, Bilgewater follower. Two mana, two one, and it is a plunder card. Refill one spell mana and create a random one cost spell from your regions in hand. Wow. So this is not only an elusive unit that's just good. Like if you want a good elusive, this is a good elusive. It also refills spell mana and gives you a random one. This is like coral creatures as an elusive, what's not to love? And it's got a good stat line. Like two one is good for an elusive unit. Obviously this would be a fantastic target for the last card. This absolutely seems like a fizz card. Being able to just chip in extra damage in a fizz deck, as well as refill spell mana and get a free spell for fizz. This is essentially a one drop. Like as long as you're playing it correctly, this is a one drop that gives you a spell and is a two one elusive. That's really good. For a one drop 2-1 to give you an additional card, super strong, super strong. All right, moving on to the next card, a four mana follower that is also elusive for some reason from Bilgewater. <laughs> this is a one five elusive, so I guess that's good. And it's four mana. When you activate plunder, draw one and give it fleeting. See, like this doesn't even need to be elusive. I guess what happened here is like, maybe they made this card and they're like, huh, well, <laughs> Uh, I guess it's, like, not good enough on its own. Let's just, you know, let's just slap Elusive on it. Who cares? This is a bad card, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I mean, without Twisted Fate and Bilgewater, this really has no, like, solid reason to exist. Maybe this will make more sense with Samira, but until we see Samira, this just seems like an absolutely terrible card. All right, moving on to a Noxus card. Three mana, three, three. Dame... Or Dame, da I'm gonna say Dame. Dame the Despoiler. Plunder, grant 
all allies plus one plus oh. Okay, so Samir is like definitely a plunder archetype. Grant all allies plus one is pretty good. This is a three drop that you probably don't want to play on turn three, but it's got good stats. Granting everything else plus one is super strong for an aggro deck. I don't know. This seems like a solid card. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It seems like elusive aggro, Yasuo decks, and pirate aggro are getting all of the good cards right now. And this is uh, this is a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. This is another like solid effects to duplicate with that first card that we looked at today that just activates plunder effects for free. Like granting everything plus two is not bad. That'd be a solid turn five. If you dropped this, you already had a full board plus one, dropped the two drop plus one again. And then you just open attack like that's a ton of damage. It's really not bad. This is this is a solid card as well, for sure. All right, moving on to a Bilgewater spell. I, think, I feel like Bilgewater has less spells than every other region. I don't know if that's true. I just feel like there's no playable spells in Bilgewater, dude. Like whenever I build a Bilgewater deck, I always have to go to other regions for the spells because the spells in Bilgewater, like for the most part, really bad. <laughs> uh, this is a four mana spell. Plunder, I cost two less. Okay, so you're usually going to be two mana if you're playing things correctly. Draw two at the next round start and give them fleeting. I don't know why this is like a weapon if it doesn't do damage to anything. It doesn't give anything extra attack. It's a barbed chain that draws you cards. Probably a better draw card for aggro than Eye of Nagakaburos. Like I think I think you could actually just cut Eye of Nagakaburos now and run this instead. This is definitely like the, the type of card aggro would probably enjoy playing. I think this is solid for aggro. <laughs> um, I guess it's not bad in general. Most decks are going to be able to activate Plunder, so like two mana, draw two next round start, and give them Fleeting is pretty solid. This is basically the same spell as the Unending Wave, which is draw two Fleeting right now. I guess this is just better than that card because it draws the cards next turn. Typically, if you draw Fleeting cards, you'd rather draw them the next turn, right? Because if you're playing this spell, that means you've already spent mana. So I don't know. I, I guess this card is solid. It's just like a little bit weird. To, I still get to get over the fact that this is like a weapon and it's drawing cards. This is like, um, it's like the shard of violence all over again. <laughs> apparently, apparently Riot thinks violence equals draw for some reason. I don't know why that's their new design philosophy, but you know, here we are. All right, moving on to a Noxus spell. Pirouette, two mana, slow. <laughs> Uh, plunder, I cost one less. Okay, so one mana most of the time. Deal one to anything and stun an enemy. That's nuts. I mean, if you have not activated plunder, you can activate it with this. This is a way to do that. It's going to cost two, but you also get to still stun something. If you have activated plunder, this is basically one mana, ping off like a two one and stun a really big unit and then you attack. You could use this with Swain, and it would become two stuns effectively, right? Because you hit Nexus, Swain stuns, and then you do a regular stun. These, these cards are really just pirate aggro cards. Like, I don't know what else these cards would be. It seems like Samira might just end up replacing Gangplank as the second champion in pirate aggro. It might be Misfortune Samira. That might be the new aggro deck. This is absolutely nuts. Super flexible. Um, You can get this off of Song Spinner and Seraphine and all of the PNZ cards that generate two cost cards. That's something to be aware of. This is a very good card to get off of Song Spinner. Very good card to just have in your deck for almost any deck that is a Noxus deck. I can't I can't believe how strong these cards are. This is insane. Moving on to our final card for the day. This one has a new keyword, Thrash. I have no clue what that does, so hopefully there's something explaining it. <laughs> Probably on, on Twitter. I guess we're gonna have to go to Twitter for this one. Uh, this is a three mana Brazen Buccaneer. Three, two from Bilgewater. Plunder. Summon a random one cost follower and grant it Brash. That does not help at all. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it summons a one cost is very good. The fact that it grants it a keyword is probably good. If I had to guess what Brash does, I don't know, maybe when you activate Plunder, it starts a free attack. It's, I feel like it has something to do with free attacks, right? Because it's got the fist. Brash sort of means like you rush into battle without good reason to. You just sort of like want to start fights. So I don't know, maybe it's a free attack kind of keyword. Maybe there's some sort of plunder i start a free attack or when you play me i start a free attack i don't know that might be it maybe it's when you play me i start a free attack or when i'm summoned i start a free attack and then that would mean the one cost follower would also start a free attack which would be kind of cool but that would also be insanely overpowered so hopefully that's not what it is <laughs> all right here it is brash can only be blocked by enemies with three or more health 
That's disappointing. <laughs> this is just a reverse fearsome. I feel like this is kind of unhealthy because there's just like a lot more cards that reduce health than there are cards that reduce attack, right? Like fearsome has always been balanced because there's only so many frostbite cards. There's only so many give the enemy minus two attack cards. There is like an uncountable, that's probably not even a word, but there is an uncountable amount of cards that damage a unit's health. This is almost a bigger threat than elusives. I just feel like this is a very, very dangerous keyword. I guess it'll make cards like Braum good again, but I do feel like inherently this is going to be way stronger than Fearsome ever was. Just again, because it's so easy to like remove the unit's health. I guess that's it for today's cards. I'm going to be honest, every single one of these cards was good, except for that one that draws fleeting. I think that was like the one bad card, the, the unit, Inferna, Inferno. Fasten your seatbelts, because it looks like this is a pirate aggro season, dude. But yeah, that's it for today's cards. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day five. Peace.